Hey, it has them. Today I'm going to show you why these Wago lever nuts are infinitely better than these things we call marets, aka wire nuts. So, these are kind of expensive. They cost like a dollar, but we bought a whole box of them by accident. Not by accident, but I saw it at the store and I was like, I gotta use these. And I took them and I used like half the box on a project and it was like crazy good. So, saved me a lot of time. So, here's the deal we're gonna do this American way and we're gonna do this the German way. So, the American way is to get these shitty climb tools and you gotta strip your, your wire. So, on your wire nut, it'll tell you somewhere how much to strip off. Now, somebody thought. Okay, first of all, you can't just shove the wires in and twist. That's a disaster. That won't do you any good. So you gotta look at your, you gotta grab your client tools and you gotta figure out what gauge of wire you're stripping and how much. And then you gotta line it up. And then you gotta go around like this. And if it slips, then that didn't, didn't do a good job. So maybe this is a number 12. <coughs> Anyway, this wears you out after a while, so you gotta do this again. So now there's another two. Now I'm doing this. Now if you if you don't do this right, <coughs> sometimes with these insulations they're a bit tough. <coughs> but, uh, ah, there we go. So we've stripped. We've stripped two of these now now you're like okay i can shove this in the marat and i'm and i'm done but you can't because this will not be a solid connection so i gotta twist these now you can't actually it's not recommended to use uh the stripping tool to twist these but this is okay, and see, so you want to get some twist on the wire itself, and then we want to put the wire nut on. Now we twist the wire nut down. So I should say, you want to make sure that these twists are like nice and tight. We don't want to get any air gaps between them that could cause like electricity to arc from one wire to the other. We want a solid connection, and then we twist this on. And we're good. So this took me three minutes. So say two and a half minutes. Now I'm gonna go to the other side and we're gonna say, look, I don't care anymore. We're just gonna use a Wago. So now all I gotta do, I got my German strippers. Now it doesn't count, but I'm gonna trim my wire and then I can set my my stripper depth to what I want. And now I don't have to strip as much, so long term I'm saving wire. And do that again here, even when the wire is a bit wrinkly, it's okay. Then I go go to my toolkit and I figure out. Uh, so I've got I've got twos, and I've got threes, and I've got like six, so I, or fives. They come in all they come in all different wire sizes, so you can shove. As many wires as you want, and we got different we got different sizes for different gauges of wire too. So like my ground wire can go in there, but actually this is this one's even good for a number 10. But then all I gotta do is open up my lever like that. See just like that, open up the lever and put this in all the way in. Put the other one in, click, and bam, we're done. So that took us like what, 30 seconds? It took me a minute because I had to explain, but it really would have taken me 30 seconds. And these things are solid, look. I can pull these pretty hard and they won't come off. You know, you know, you want to make sure when you look in here, you can see, you can see that your copper, um, you want to strip enough. 13 millimeters. So, so when you look, when you look on the side of the Wago, 
it will tell you how much to strip. So you want to measure your wire against a strip gauge and strip that much. So if you've got your Nipex tool and your strip gauge, you can adjust, you can adjust your strip gauge right where you want it. And then you just, uh, you just put your wires in. You gotta make sure because what could happen uh, if you don't strip enough, then you can shove your wire in all the way to the end. You can see my wire hits the hits the back edge, but the but the contacts are right here. The copper contacts are not here. This is so you can see that your wire has gone all the way through. But if this part is still insulated right here, then you're not going to make any contact. Or if you've only stripped, say, say your insulation comes up to here, then you're not going to make enough contact with the uh, with the thing to get uh, a good contact, and that will increase the resistance here, which could potentially cause a fire. So you want to be careful. Just make sure you follow the instructions, and you'll be. Good. If you have any questions, uh, please post a comment. Thank you.